I want that to be the emphasis, you know. Well, the bottom line with Bailey is he seems to be fulfilling his potential. I mean, is that the way you see it in terms of the, it's yeah, there? Yeah, been, been extremely pleased with the kid. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, he's, he's a consistent player. You know, I mean, I'm not even talking about making plays. I mean, he blocks well. He has great effort. I mean, I really don't have anything bad to say or negative to say about him. I mean, it's his, his uh, demeanor's good at practice. He's got a great attitude. I mean, um, you know, and I think it translates over in um, in making plays. Now, obviously, there was a few that he didn't make. You know, I don't want to sit here and harp on that deal. But I mean, uh, he needs to. As consistent of a player it is, it's kind of odd for him not to make those plays. So I mean, we just, I just, that's what I told him. I said, 99.9 percent .9 of the time, I mean, you're going to catch that ball and run in the end zone. So I'm not even going to focus on it. You're not even going to hear about it. Did you see the? Potential of him to make some of the spectacular plays he's been yeah, this year. Yeah, I mean, he's been doing that since day one of camp in the spring, too. I mean, he's, he's a kid that sticks out. You know, he's a he's a ability, he's a definite um, ability guy that sticks out when you watch him in practice and everything. And I just, you know, I've, I've been, besides the statistical stuff, I've been more pleased with his attitude and just the way he carries himself a lot more than anything because a lot of times when kids have years like that and they think they're a little bit better than everybody and they're you know a little bit entitled and uh, but his practice demeanor and effort at practice is extremely high so that's that's a testament to him. Are you surprised that he has been so productive? No, uh, no. I no. mean, he, he's a talented. It is his record breaking productive. Yeah, he is, and um, he's he's a, he's that talented of a player. I mean, he really is. I mean, we're just, our job as coaches is just to um, just to get guys like that the ball, you know. And when they're when they're talented like that, I mean, bottom line is don't screw them up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good pass rush. Thank you. Coach. Or, or good defensive pressure effect. What you guys are able to do offensively? Um, you know, defensively. I mean, you can watch NFL games for everybody. I mean, if, if you're a team, you know. If you're a passing football team, I mean, people are going to try to put pressure on you, and um, that's really the only way to disrupt a, a um, timing, disrupt, you know, a quarterback's thought process is to get pressure on. Them. And uh, it's obvious whenever people get pressure on us, you know, I mean, it makes Geno's job a little difficult. So yeah, I mean, it affects us. Is it hard to find the the consistent problem there? I guess uh, coach had said it earlier that against Syracuse they run a ton of different blitzes and yeah. there was confusion and they did it successfully that way. Then you get a team like Cincinnati who just kind of overpowers you and, and does it that way. They weren't doing anything out of the ordinary. They were just kind of coming at you and and they presented their own set of problems. I mean, is, is it a little frustrating when when there's no continuity to that? A little bit frustrating, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it is frustrating. But the bottom, we have to probably do a better job of recognizing, you know, recognizing the fact that pockets are closing and, and then call stuff that gets the ball out of his hand quicker. You know, I, mean, I think we can help him out on that. And, and Gino probably can do a good job of, um, of understanding that, look, you know, they're putting a lot of pressure on us need to get the ball out of our hands. And so uh, for the most part, you know, watching the – them back on Saturday. I mean, we did that for the most part. Uh, the problem offensively Saturday, in my opinion, was we just got behind the chains way too much. And that was a combination of um, negative plays, um, penalties. A lot of <laughs> gracious. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of, um, you know, it seemed like every time we got something going down in the red zone, then we're second and 20. You know what I mean? That's that's difficult to climb out of, and we climbed out of it a few times. But I mean, you can't consistently, we can't consistently get behind the change and be successful on offense. After 